Well, they were a very strong number one. You know, they had, I believe, a 21 rating in prime time. You know, and if you look at what the networks are doing now, they get their they're eight and change. So, you know, our our rating was almost three times the homes rating of the, uh, you know, of of, of uh, what a network would be doing now. And and the 18 to 49 numbers were almost mirrored the home numbers. They were that strong. I mean, they were just unbelievable. Because we were the first network, you know, to actively go after the 18 to 49 uh, audience group. And that's not something that, that uh, ABC started in the mid-70s. You know, going back as far as the late 50s, you know, that was their target audience. You know, then they called them the Get Age group, the 18 to 49s. But they were, you know, big family, you know, uh, uh, a younger, uh, big buying power. So what do you think it was that you brought to the network that made your time there so successful? Uh, more than anything, a, a sense of uh, showmanship. Showmanship and, and, and some pizzazz. I mean, it was the network schedule was a, was a very bright schedule that kind of sparkled. You know, we had great specials. You know, that we, we uh, had the best of, of the newest stars. You know, most of the stars on, uh, on ABC were in their late 20s and early 30s. You know, and we, we were, without really trying to do so, just with second nature, you know, to do that kind of programming. They were starting to move in that direction, you know, before I got there with Eisner and, and Fred Pierce, you know, because they put shows like Starsky and Hutch on and uh, uh, Cotter, Happy Days was one of those shows. So it was really a, uh, a continuation of that policy, but a continuation with a vengeance. And, uh, and also, you know, it was during that three-year period that we really invented marketing and promotion of television like it was never done before. Uh, I know it's hard to believe that before that period in time, there were no videotape promotional spots anywhere that the networks used an announcer on a slide to promote programs in, in little five and ten second bursts. And we were the first network that opened up time in every show on the network, day and night, you know, to, to promote shows with very well, very produced spots. I mean, to the point of where when we did a, a spot for the Tuesday comedy block, you know, that spot was sweetened. I mean, there was actually audience response, you know, laughing and clapping, which was unheard of. So, uh, you know, and I mean, there are all the things that are very commonplace now at that point in time were revolutionary. And, uh, and I should mention that uh, the people that were involved in our advertising and promotion went on to kind of uh, uh, grandfather all the people that are, that are the leaders in that, uh, that area today, you know, really have their roots in, in that advertising and promotion department at ABC. I mean, it all started there.